Greetings everybody and welcome back to some more Donkey Kong Country 3 Dix is uh, double trouble You might be asking yourself What the fuck Crims? What are you doing in the first stage? I want to show you something And Wait for First off I want to get Dixie And then I'm going to Show you something that's uh, kind of funny Every single stage in the first two worlds Have a secret warp somewhere And the first one in this stage is up here Pretty damn hard to find out by yourself, and it will take you to the end. Isn't that nice? So, I'm going to show all of them. Um, yeah, all of them uh, after I beat the level the real way. So that was the first one, we completed that stage very quickly. We're gonna move on to the next one, which is Door Stop Dash. Hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. In this episode we're gonna be in this lumber mill. We're gonna use the switches or handles to open up the doors and then hurry up to the door and go inside. And there's a coin up there. Let's throw Dixie and that's nice. And the music here is so kick-ass. And there's the O. Now I've been playing in this latest Donkey Kong Country game which is Tropical Freeze for Wii U. And I'm comparing it to this game now and it just... Man, they've re... It's still amazing. I love these games. But um, I think it's nostalgia here. But um, I think I like these uh, Super Nintendo Country games a bit more. <laughs> a bit. But um, yeah, I think I do. It's mostly because of nostalgia and the controller. The new one is... Um, how should you say it? Oh shit, so many balls! Um... Yeah, it, there's too much going on in the graphics. I mean, it's not bad. It's really fantastic how it looks, Tropical Freeze. But um, I guess I'm just so used to these, um, you know, 16-bit colors and uh, the gameplay. And so th this is Donkey Kong for me. This is the real shit. And Tropical Freeze and those, they're great. They're very good. I like all of them, actually. And also we're doing this series in uh, 50 FPS, and that's because we're playing on the PAL version. So if you're watching this on uh, Chrome or something, a web browser, be sure to enable the 720 so you get uh, 50 FPS and you can experience this game in the same frame rate as it's supposed to be. Well, not really, because the game is huge, as I mean, the original frame rate is 60, because of, you know, the USA standard. Uh, 60 frames per second uh, But we're playing the Paul version and I don't want to do emulator I want to play this game the exact same way I did growing up Oh shit Was it just to complete it? If so, this was extremely easy with Dixie but Yeah, Paul version it's 50 frames per second instead of uh, 60, but that's okay. It's still fluent I like it and this is what I grew up grew up with so this is uh, this feels you know normal for me. And if you need to go back, you just can just use those um, doors in the ground to get back quickly. There's been a lot of debating for me recently if I'm going to do all these Super Nintendo uh, commentaries in um, uh, in emulator or not, because the, the Super Nintendo emulators are more or less flawless. They are. Perfect. You can't really see a difference between, you know, the original and emulator. So, for the sake of doing it original, um, you know, with the 60 FPS and uh, all that, I think I'm going to start doing my series in, uh, and uh, you know, in emulator to get very good quality and you know the original 16 FPS. This is how you beat this guy. Nice. We're gonna take this with us and throw it down here. Let's see, you should post- oh you can't- Nope, we missed the extra life. Oh, never mind. So that was- uh, that was that level 100% complete. But there's something about, you know, playing- making this series um, and playing the games you know, in the the way I grew up with, the the original console, yes, not doing it them on emulator. I just um, it just feels better in some way. It's it's basically us because that's how I grew up with it. I played it on the original console, 
and that's how I want to make my series as well. So the warp for this level is up here. Not very cryptic, but still, I don't think a new player would uh, guess that. And there we go, beat the stage again. And now we got the first save point. Wrinkly save cave. She's everywhere. Look, she's asleep! I'm sure she won't mind us saving our game though. There's a fucking N64 there. Foreshadowing. I think it was a year before N64 came out. Not sure though. Yeah, she's sleeping. Poor bastard, she's going to die on, in that console version of Donkey Kong. So, we have a cave up here. Boom. Smuggler's Cove. Another Simon Says, but this time it's uh, one extra. <sighs> the later ones are just insane for me. They're like 14. I think they go up to 14, you know. And I'm not very good at memorizing that much, so I usually, you know, write it down on paper when I get to those very long ones. When it's over 10. Get on the island, kitty! Barnacles Island, I think it said. Oh, look at that pipe! Hello there. I was going Kong's Barnacles, my name. And I've set up a home here to build me shell something. Have you seen my shell collection? It's nearly complete. <coughs> and we just leave without saying anything. That's how we do it. <laughs> I don't get that, they just leave. All right, another level, Tidal Trouble. This stage is my fucking nightmare. There is something that's pretty damn hard and you only have one shot to do it. The DK coin is <laughs> right in the beginning of this stage and I missed it. There we go. And also, uh, this stage is going to, if you want 100% on this stage, you need to learn this. But Kitty Kong can actually skip on the water by doing this. Oh, shit, I'm really bad at timing that. Like that. And I think he can only do it two times, but uh, the second time he jumps or skips, it goes very far up in the air. Clownfish! I used to know the name of all these enemies, and you can see them in the credits. Like this one, for example, but I don't remember the names, so I'm sorry about that. But I think those are called clownfish. Now there are two of those, there are the green ones and the red ones, and the red ones are the ones who, you know, swim around and do shit. So this one we can either sacrifice one of our Kongs, never mind! Oh, I'm screwed up, did I? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> nice. But you can get the fish in order to get inside there. And I think we're gonna have it now, right? No? Okay. We need to get it the real way. But you can get the, the blue companion fish, you can ride on him, and his name is uh, On Guard, I think? So there's our first coin for this stage. Is it no more fishy, but we didn't find him, so never mind. And then we get our Kong back. Now in the newest games in Tropical Freeze, you can take uh, two hits per Kong. But in these old games, you can only take one hit per Kong, so... They are harder, I think? But for some reason, I'm having a harder time with um, Tropical Freeze, you know, completing it, compared to this game. And that's... Maybe it's just because I'm so used to this game and i played so much, and maybe that's why. So let, in, let me know what you guys think if you play both of them. Are these old country games harder, or maybe the new one? Okay, we're gonna do the skip here. And we almost made it. It's pretty damn difficult, and there is no way you can retry. That is pretty damn shitty. So the only thing we can do is actually to kill ourselves, and we can redo that. But we already have 15 extra lives, so no worries. And we just save. And we get a coin every time. <laughs> We're gonna get those 50 coins in no time. Alright, so this time, how are we gonna do it? What the- No, what the fuck, Dixie? 
Ugh. This is so much fun. This is this is exactly how I want to spend Christmas. Well, it's not really Christmas for us. It was Christmas yesterday. But I guess in USA it's Christmas now, right? Uh, might as well. Wait, can we change character? Yes, we can. There we go. Up, 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 stupid crimps, but I can still make it. I'm getting impatient now. <laughs> Mostly because I'm doing a commentary, so... What the fuck, did kitty? I'm just going to edit to when I make it. I think I'm gonna do that. So I will see you very soon. There we go. I just need to run and then do the skipping and you get a little bit farther. Bash the baddies! Don't screw this up, please, Crims. I don't want to redo that shit. There we go. There's the last coin for this one. Okay, so if you fail, you spawn right there, so no need to worry. So how are you all doing today? I don't know what the day it is when this comes out. I will. I would guess uh, December twenty seventh. Yeah, I, I guess so. Um, let's see. We can actually break this floor. Do it. An extra life, and it shoots us up to the end of the stage. Right. So that's uh, done. That one is a pretty damn. You know, time-based, and it's pretty difficult uh, considering it's only the third stage. She's asleep still. Well, there you go. Hmm, I think it's different for every cave, and it's not just randomized. Or maybe it is. Let's see. If we go back, is she still sleeping? No, she's playing. Okay, so it's the randomized. I love this bird that you found. It's an ener energetic little thing, isn't it? Leave. Do keep a lookout for ye any banana birds, they're ever such nice company. And the music there is uh, Super Mario 64 in the castle. It's so cool! I love it! But you know what I love even more? This... Uh, well, I don't think I love this, but uh, this um, part is over now. So I will see you in the next episode, everybody. Um, I apologize because I feel that... I feel that my commentary is quite rusty and uh, I rabble too much and not very effective with my words. <coughs> so I apologize. I hope it will be better soon. But I'm having fun with this game. I hope you are too. And I'm gonna finish up this uh, first world in the next part. See everybody. Have a great day.